first video on the uh, different class mods for each character. Uh, today I'm going to be doing the Mechromancer. And the first two class mods you see there are the two legendary class mods for this character. The legendary Mechromancer class mod and the Slayer of Terramorphous class mod. Uh, both of those give you plus five and plus four of a lot of different skills uh, to, uh, to enhance your character. So they're both good to get. Um, and then uh, beyond that, there's another Mechromancer class mod. Uh, there's another uh, legendary, but that's a level 50. But see, it still gives the same amount of skills. Uh, it doesn't matter level 61 or 50, it seems. But uh, you got the wired catalyst uh, that gives team elemental effect damage. So, you know, if everybody's running some sort of element, like slag or shock or something, uh, it'll uh, have 40% more damage. Um, and then you got uh, the patient sweetheart, team max health 22,000. It's pretty good. The potent robot tier, cooldown rate 20%. Uh, melee damage 36% not bad the technophile class mod uh, the shield capacity and shield recharge rate boost is pretty good on that one and then you get the uh, the strength of the gorilla skill and the also the interspersed outburst skill it's pretty good um, calculating anarchist gun damage plus 40% uh, just for yourself, weapon accuracy down though. Speedy Punk, fire rate 23%, and then magazine minus 24%, not so good. Uh, this is good if you run like an anarchist um, or setup on your skills, but uh, other than that, it wouldn't be so good. Uh, Jill of All Trades, that uh, increases your assault rifle magazine and gun damage. Uh, it also has a uh, boost for your death trap too. Um, Paranoid Punk class mod. Already went through that one. Prodigy. Uh, that's uh, more pep skill. More pep. And then uh, cooking up trouble. That's pretty good. And then your reload speed. Um, good mech necromancer. This is from the DL the latest DLC. Tiny Tina's DLC. Uh, as you see, it gives you a reload and fire rate boost. And then the five gorillas again, that's great. And then uh, Stern Robot here. I've already went through one of those. Uh, the Peppy Zapper, this is for electrocution damage. Great if you're running like a shock build, uh, which you can do with the Mechromancer. It's actually the best build for the Mechromancer, is if you run the Zapper and everything shock. Uh, patient Sweetheart, Team Max Health, 4147. That's a level 50. And then uh, a couple blue Mechromancer. Got the 657. Uh, these are supposedly modded and supposedly legitimate, so who knows? Ionized Catalyst class mod. The legendary Mechromancer class mod with the 765 and the 39% cooldown rate. And the Blue Peppy Prodigy gives you six plus six on the more pep and plus five on the better half. And then uh, another blue legendary level 50. <laughs> but uh, that wraps up the Mechromancer. Stay tuned for the Commando. Hi everybody and welcome back. The uh, video I'm doing today is for the Commando class mods. Uh, as you can see the very first one is the legendary soldier class mod. But this one's a little bit different. It is pink and it has the, uh, uh, I think it's the blood of the Ceres. Uh, the return is feared, grants damage, health generation for a short time, killing an enemy to gain second wind. It's like Christmas. That's uh, uh, that part, well, before Christmas is uh, supposed to be with a relic. So it's kind of weird to see it there. Um, but anyway, uh, I found that on the ground one day. It, it was weird. And then uh, the next one, Slayer Terramorphous class mod for the Commando. Uh, and uh, as I've already explained, that uh, you know gives you a lot of increases in stats and everything for your character all around. 
Uh, obviously the legendary one's a little bit better, uh, giving you more points and uh, better stats all around. Uh, and then we go into the purple class mods. We got the Efficiency Engineer. Uh, cooldown rate plus 38%. That's just awesome. Uh, Shock Trooper. This is to run an electric class with your commando. Um, Grizzly Point Man class mod. Uh, health regen for you alone. And then your max health also goes up. Uh, this is a good one to run if you're playing by yourself. Also gives you pl plus four on the grit skill, giving you uh, the chance to uh, avoid damage that would normally kill you, and then also give you a 50% health boost. Um, Resolute Veteran Class Mod Reload Speed Magazine Side, uh, that's self-explanatory. And then you see the uh, the other boosts that it gives you too, the, the pressure, the steady, and the last ditch, pretty good. Impact Grenadier, plus we're on the Grenader. It, uh, you know, puts your grenades up to 14 or whatever it is. I don't know. It's crazy if you've got it maxed out in your skill tree. But uh, your damage goes up. Your explosive damage resist goes down. Or up, I guess, is what you, how you would say it. Support Gunner, Team Fire Rate, self-explanatory. Uh, efficient Tactician, sh uh, Shield Recharge Rate and Delay are affected for the uh, entire team which is good you know if you're fighting uh, like a mid raid boss or something like that uh, impact rifleman assault rifle uh, damage and magazine size go up awesome to have you know if you're fighting something big neutral ranger class mod uh, mag size weapon accuracy all go up and then uh, you also get a grit and an impact increase Ranger is also good. Makes you better at just about everything. Warfare Specialist uh, SMG Accuracy. This is kind of a weird one to use for the uh, Commando, but it's there. Uh, and then some blue class mods. The Die Hard Veteran, the Heavy Gunner. Uh, and then a uh, Blue Legendary F756. Determined Technician. Frontline Rifleman. Uh, and then another, the, the, another legendary, blue legendary, uh, military specialist, unstoppable point man. That's where it ends. But uh, that's it for the uh, commando class mods. Uh, stay tuned for the psycho class mods. Hi everybody and uh, welcome back. I'm doing the psycho class mods this time. Um, got the Slayer of Terramorphous class mod. And the legendary psycho class mod all both uh, the best ones to get um, they are uh, really good we got two of these psycho ones um, this is from the new DLC magazine size and accuracy go up and then uh, also you get the uh, fire fiend and salt the wound uh, upgrade as well uh, blood blister class mod this is, I think is a perfect I've never seen one better. Um, plus six grenade, plus uh, 66 kill skill duration. It means you get to run around with your big arm for 66% longer. Uh, diesel sickle class mod if you're in the melee, 44%. Hot wound, fire rate after kill, plus 15%. And uh, I'm pretty sure that doesn't stack. Fuel Reaper, team skill, uh, kill skill duration. 11%. I think I have one better than that. We'll see. Beef Slab, max health 29,000. Uh, the Fuel Reaper, yeah, there it is. Uh, team Skill Duration, 55%. And that's for everybody. That means you could Phase Lock for 55%. Uh, you could be in uh, Deception Mode 55% longer. And just think if two of them are running a Reaper class, you know, you're in for 110% longer. It's just crazy. Like if you're a Gunzerker, you know. Uh, fuel torch 50% burn and then a good barbarian another uh, new one from the DLC uh, the meat health regen shield recharge delay it's actually added uh, tasty crunch class mod this is for ex an explosive build absolutely awesome with like uh, an explosive relic and um, like a deadly bloom and a double penetrator you know and a 
bonus package. It's just insane the amount of damage you can actually produce with just this class mod and a couple variations of uh, guns and grenades. Uh, the Power Toast class mod, burn chance and mag size elevated there, and then uh, some blue class mods. And there's the legendary blue, spot 756. Blaze Torch, a Power Toast, a Rampaging Slab, Pain Meat. And that's it for the Psycho. Uh, stay tuned for the Siren. Okay, now on to the Siren, my second favorite character in this game. Um, got the weird pink mod with her too. Uh, legendary class mod. Uh, got the Slayer of Terramorphous class mod. And the regular legendary class mod. Uh, what do I have equipped? Angelic Nurse class mod. Uh, Chrono Binder class mod. Team cooldown rate, which is pretty effective. Especially if you're running two of them. Uh, the Trickster fire rate increase, which you really need with her sometimes. She's just so slow with the fire rate. Uh, Matriarch, max health and mag size increase there. Plague Fox, you get the burn. Um, that's really good to run with like, uh, um, you know, obviously a fire class and a fire relic. Uh, Merciful Nurse, team health regen 86.4.5, but it has the 544. You'll see I have a higher regen, but it's only a 543, so I keep them both. Uh, just depending on which one I want to run. Uh, the Breakneck Banshee. So it makes you run like crazy. Uh, but it's only plus 5. I actually have a plus 6 that takes away less health. And it's level 50. You'll see that here in a second. Uh, this is from the new DLC. Uh, reload Speed Fire Rate. Scorched Banshee Class Mod. Uh, this is uh, got the Backdraft, the Emulate, and the Fleet Skill. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, Wildcat, if you want to double your SMG damage, here you go. Uh, pretty good would run with the bitch and uh, like, um, I don't know, something that raises your uh, uh, critical hit damage too. And then another one from the DLC. Guarded Warrior, shield capacity up. Uh, Hell Witch, that's for a corrosion uh, build. Uh, good Cleric, that's from the uh, new DLC. Another one from the new DLC. Uh, the Unyielding Banshee, this is uh, the class mod you use for the emulate, emulate uh, glitch <coughs> you can have with uh, <coughs> running a fire relic and like uh, the Sandhawk and a bee and a hoplite. Uh, look it up on YouTube. Uh, Bullet Witch, Blurt Trickster. Uh, 675 class mod, Steaming Warder, 576 class mod, Breakneck Banshee, there's that level 50 I was speaking of. And that's it. That's it for the Siren. Um, stay tuned for the Assassin. Okay, welcome back. I'm doing the Assassin now. Uh, probably my least favorite character, so I'm not going to be able to offer too much insight in as far as building the character, but maybe just a little bit. Uh, I got the Slayer of Terramorphous class mod, and of course the Legendary class mod, one little bit better than the other. Um, the Spy class mod, cooldown rate. The Deadly Sniper, uh, obviously increases your sniper uh, damage and uh, the critical hit damage, which is pretty good with some snipers because, you know, 38% of 600% is pretty good. <laughs> Uh, Evil Rogue, crit damage and mag size go up. Killer Class Mod, team critical damage, which is pretty good, 44%. And then your Survivor Class Mod, uh, the max health and health regen, just for yourself though. Um, then you got the Stalker Class Mod, which is a pistol build, uh, good for infinities and things of that nature. Uh, let's see, we got the Swiss Spy Class Mod, cooldown rate. And uh, the Infiltrator class mod, fire rate and melee damage. Fire rate really needed for this character too. He's not really into the fire rate uh, either. Uh, Ninja class mod for 52% melee damage. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, professional reload speed, shield capacity. Uh, that's something you need. 
Neutral Rogue, that's from the new DLC, mag size 65%. Uh, another professional class mod. And then some blue class mods, Killer, uh, and that's it. Uh, and uh, last but not least, we're going to run uh, the Gunzerker Salvador. Okay, and now for Stay the Berserker tuned. class mods. As you can see, I got a legendary Berserker class mod. And then also that weird uh, pink one, too. Um, and then the other ones, we got another legendary Berserker, uh, the Slayer of Terramorphus, and another legendary Berserker. Actually, these are quite common dropped from uh, Pete. That's why I have so many. I've gotten a lot more than that. I just don't keep them anymore. Um, and then the Savage Beast class mod for uh, reload speed and max health. You don't really need to reload speed to this guy. He reloads quick. Um, hoarding the War Dog, another reload speed mag size. Uh, the Renegade pistol. This is a really good uh, one to run with dual pistols. And then also having that skill um, where you, if you run the same uh, gun type while gun zerking, it uh, increases the damage. So if you do that with two pistols, it's even better. And then, you know, a pistol relic along with it, you know, you're you're just gunning through everything. Uh, the armor tank um, obviously gives you more shield capacity and uh, increases the rate of which it uh, comes back. Grand Titan, uh, health regen, gun damage, and shield capacity, but in a negative light. Um, you give up uh, a little bit of capacity for the health regen and the damage. Team Mag Size, uh, Devastator Class Mod. Auspicious Raider, um, shield capacity negative, but uh, your accuracy goes up. I don't know why you'd want that one, but uh, to each his own. Another Renegade, uh, similar stats. The uh, Neutral Monk, that's the new DLC class mod. Uh, the cooldown rate for uh, Berserker. Loading Order, Team Bullet Regen 3.0. That's uh, perfect. That's the highest you can get. And then some blue class mods, uh, cooldown rate berserker, uh, another legendary blue seven six five, and then a six seven five, and an evil monk from the new DLC. And that's it. That's it for uh, class mods. I uh, hope you enjoyed that little video, and uh, come back for more. We're gonna release a relics video next, and that'll wrap up our uh, our showcase on Borderlands two. But uh, stay tuned for the next video. We'll see you later.